Hi, my name is Ovi. I'm the social worker here. How can I help you today? Well, uh, my name is Brittany Smith, okay. and um, I'm right now I'm a senior in high school, but I'm planning on attending college uh, in the fall. I have a couple scholarship offers, mm -hmm. um, and I have really good grades, but I am pregnant. So I'm kind of just trying to figure out what to do next. Okay. So Brittany, basically the reason you've come to visit us today is because you are um, a teenager that just found out that you're pregnant. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So um, am I the first person that you've informed about it? You, you also are. Be told? Yes. I haven't told anybody else because I don't know what I want to do next. So okay. I don't want to tell people I'm pregnant and then not have the child. Okay, so Brittany, you do understand that with pregnancy, your body is going to change. It's not a secret that you can keep for a long time. Unfortunately. Okay, so you want to discuss some plans or some options? Yes. Um, okay, so there are a few things with pregnancy. You know, we could you could either um, keep your child and, and raise it, that, mm -hmm. uh, or you could give the baby up for adoption, mm -hmm. um, and, or we could, even the idea of, of an, having an abortion. Um, e that makes me uncomfortable. And it makes a lot of people uncomfortable, and it's a very difficult decision to make. Mm -hmm. And um, even though a lot of people might not respect it, but it's your decision. Right. So, um, but it looks as though abortion isn't something that you're leaning towards. I just don't like the idea of abortion, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but I am not in a position right now to care for a child. Okay. I don't have a job. Okay. Um, I'm still living at my parents' okay. house, and... Uh, the child's father also doesn't have a job so it's just a lose-lose situation um, so let's talk a little bit about your your family situation and okay. your support okay. so um, what kind of relationship do you have with your parents well I live with both my parents my mom and my dad mm -hmm. and I mean we have an okay relationship they're just parents and mm -hmm. you know they get on my nerves I get on their nerves okay. but um, we have a pretty decent relationship, but they are on the conservative side, mm -hmm. so I know they won't be happy about the situation. Okay, and that's probably normal because I don't think um, any parent would expect their child in, well, how old do you say you're 19? I'm not, 18. 18 to be pregnant. But one thing that I do really, really encourage you to do mm -hmm. is you have to at least inform, not at least, but just open open the doors for discussion with your parents. Okay. You never know their response. Mm -hmm. They might be upset, but you're still their child, and they'll probably be, you know, be able to help you and, and guide you and mold you, and mm -hmm. your, the reaction you're probably expecting from them probably won't won't really be the case. Well, hopefully that's the case. Um, my anticipation is that they're going to freak out. Okay, and that's fine. And let's say they do freak out or you don't feel comfortable telling them. Mm -hmm. You're more than welcome to bring them into the office so we can discuss it openly. Okay. So I'll be on your... I'm just, I'll just be a somebody that's just going to be there for support. Okay. And another thing I, that I really want to encourage you to do is um, talk to your boyfriend. What's he going to do? I, I know that you're thinking, what's he going to do? But yeah. he is the father of this child, correct? Yes. And in the way, he has his right to know. Yeah. And inform him. And though you may have some ill, I don't know what kind of dynamics it is with your relationship with him. Mm -hmm. But um, it's important that you, you let him know that you are pregnant and he potentially, well, he is the father. Mm -hmm. I think he has the right to know. I, I really want to encourage that conversation with him. I'll think about that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so another thing that you really have to consider is, do you, do you know how far along you are? No clue. No clue. Okay. Well, prenatal care. Mm -hmm. It's important that you go see a doctor. Mm -hmm. So they could put you on um, some vitamins, discuss mm -hmm. to you how your body's going to change, mm -hmm. how um, your diet. It's mm -hmm. important for you to remain healthy for yourself and as well as the baby. Mm -hmm. Okay? And okay. also, we do have pamphlets. There are some clinics in the area that um, we can connect you with where they have sliding scales. So I understand money might be an issue mm -hmm. and things like that. So we could also apply you could, um, for governmental assistance like mm -hmm. Medicaid and okay. they're also like it's a TANF and WIC. So, mm -hmm. you know, there are problems out there that can assist you with getting diapers. And if that's the road that you decide to go down. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily oppose having the child. It's just the fact that is going to alter my plans. My plan was to be a full-time traditional college student living on campus and all of that. But that's 
not going to be possible it's, with the it's child. It's not. It, I mean, so. let's come. Let's come back to your reality. Your reality <laughs> is <laughs> that you're going to be a mother, yeah. and the things that you probably thought you were going to do, there's still a possibility of you doing it, but mm-hmm. it's going to be a little bit different now with this child. Yeah, and. For, I would think the most important thing for yourself mm-hmm. and your future is to put your child's health in mm-hmm. um, first before yours, mm-hmm. and then it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't mean that you're compromising your future. It's just it might you might just be taking an alternative route as opposed to the route that you thought you were going to take. But success in the long run, yes, it's there. There, I mean, you won't be the first teenage mother in the world. There mm-hmm. are lots and lots of successful mothers out there, and I see that that um, you're probably on the road to that because you even took the initiative to come see me. Cause some some kids, or I still call them kids at 18, mm-hmm. social workers. So I really applaud you for that. Well, thank you. This has been really helpful. I just have to kind of just figure, figure out, out what the next step is going to be with discussing with my family and all that kind of stuff. Okay, well, keep in touch. You know, if you have any questions, I give you my business card. You can always call or email. I'm here for you, okay? Okay, thank you. No problem. Nice to meet you. All right, nice um, to meet you too. Bye-bye.